the Autograph Book of LA project is the third in a series of projects that I've done um, with a current city librarian, John Zabo, the LA Public Library and the Library Foundation of Los Angeles based on the special collections um, held here in Central Library. Um, the first project was based on the sheet music collection. Uh, the second project was based on the historic restaurant menu collection. Uh, and for the third, we moved uh, to probably a, a harder to describe and harder to get one's head around uh, project, which is around autographs. In 1905, uh, city librarian Charles Lummis, uh, as part of his new post uh, here as a city librarian, had a number of projects that he thought were important to um, put new energy and put his own personal stamp on the workings of the Central Library. And one of those things was to create an autograph collection that officially launched in 1906. And the goal was fairly simple, was he would send blank stationery out to uh, a group of people that he said were people who count across the United States. And they would sign it or make a drawing or a painting or an excerpt of a poem or a speech, send it back. And the logic was if famous people put their name on a piece of paper that then was in the collection of the Central Library. That would make the library famous, it would make LA famous, and I would argue by extension it would make Charles Lummis himself famous. A key part of the Autograph Book of LA's uh, process was working with the original collection, of course, uh, but then trying to open up that collection and, and in a way flip it on its head. Um, and instead of just focusing on the literal uh, notion of an autograph on a piece of paper, this project is all about what does it mean to leave your mark on the city, whose name should be remembered, whose stories get told when we look at the long history of Los Angeles. Everyone who's been involved with the Autograph Book of LA has made a similar point, which is that at the heart of tagging at the heart of graffiti, even at the heart of street art, and at the heart of autographs and signatures, is an, an ancient human desire to outlast the present moment. An ancient human desire to be immortal and to have one's name last far beyond the lifetimes of our bodies. When I started working with the special collections here at Central Library, um, I was taken, as anyone would be, with the depth and kind of glory of what are, in the, what are in these collections. They're incredible collections that have been shepherded and, and stewarded by librarians for decades. Um, the longer I, the more time I spent with those collections, I also realized something really important for me, which is I think obvious for anyone who works with archives, but was new for me at the time, which was that every archive is actually an archive of what it's, what's not there. It's an archive of what's missing. And so these projects have all become about the politics of archiving and the politics of collecting for me. Who collects what, whose stories are worthy of being remembered, um, and whose stories have been left out. A key part of the Autograph Book of LA's uh, process, we decided to have an autograph day um, at select branch libraries where instead of asking people who count, as Lummis put it, who were you know, uh, already established famous people in various fields, um, we decided to open it up to the famous people of everyday Los Angeles and say anybody who wanted to come into the library and leave their own mark on the city were invited to do so. So those autographs live side by side with the autograph of the so-called famous people who count. Uh, and the hope is that this project is contributing to a much, much larger initiative to create um, uh, what we might think of as a kind of radical grassroots, one, one group of scholars have called it a kind of people's history of Los Angeles, um, a multi-layered, multi-vocal um, version of LA history. Uh, and my hope is that these projects play, um, you know, if they can play at least a small part in that, then, you know, we've done our job.